developed by Crows Crows Crows. Written by Davy Redden. Bitte wähle deine Untertitelsprache Deutsch. Hast du The Stanley Parable schon mal gespielt? Nein. Uhrzeit. Passt schon. Und damit willkommen zu Let's Play The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Ein PC-Spiel, das seinerzeit eine Menge 9 von 10 und sogar 10 von 10 Wertungen abgeräumt hat. In diesem Spiel geht man sozusagen einem Mysterium auf den Grund und muss Entscheidungen treffen, die wiederum Auswirkungen haben. Und nur wer besonders clever ist, kommt auch gut voran. Und das, genau das werde ich auf die Probe stellen. Ich habe ein bisschen was davon gesehen und dadurch auch festgestellt, wie viel Humor das Spiel besitzt. Aber selbst gespielt habe ich es noch nicht und das empfiehlt sich auch, man soll blind und unbefangen an die Sache rangehen. Und wer es von euch noch nicht kennt, der macht das eben mit mir zusammen. Das ursprüngliche Spiel war für den PC. Und jetzt gibt es die Ultra Deluxe Version mit neuen Inhalten. Mach mal die Untertitel groß, oder? Mit neuen Inhalten für ebenfalls den PC, aber eben auch für aktuelle Konsolen wie Playstation, Xbox und sogar Nintendo Switch. Hören wir uns doch erstmal an, um was es geht, die Story, das Intro. This is a story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Und da sind wir nun. An unserem Schreibtisch. Mitarbeiter 427. Wir hassen Montage. Und wir haben 20 nach 11. 21 nach 11. Es ist niemand da. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Was haben die denn für alte Telefone und PCs vor allen Dingen? Grafisch und auch mit dieser Erzählerstimme erinnert es mich irgendwie an Portal. Was damit zusammenhängt, dass sowohl Portal als auch The Stanray Parable ursprünglich als Mods für Half-Life 2 starteten. Ja, es gibt einen Ursprung Stanray Parable. Guck mal, man kann nicht mal aus dem Fenster rausschauen. Das einfach nur eine Mod war, genauso wie Portal ursprünglich eine Half-Life Mod war. Niemand ist da, aber teilt sind die Monitore an. Man kann, so hörte ich, so wurde mir gesteckt, tats er wird gefurzt, tatsächlich Menschen finden, wenn man es clever anstellt. Aber wie? Was ist die Lösung? 
Kann keine anderen... Geht nicht, ne? Keine anderen Türen betreten. Wurde doch nach der Uhrzeit gefragt. Hat damit wohl nichts zu tun. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Das, das ist so das Vorzeigebeispiel von Stanley Parable. So viel habe ich schon mitbekommen. Der Erzähler sagt uns, wir gehen durch die linke Tür. Aber wir haben zwei Optionen. Und diese Entscheidung ist ähm, die berühmteste. Können wir überhaupt zurück? Nee, hinter uns ist zu. Der Erzähler sagt, wir sollen das tun. Aber das ist bereits die erste Probe. Tun wir, was er sagt. Die Räume sehen komplett identisch aus. Nur spiegelverkehrt. Tja, und da zeigt sich, was für eine Art Mensch man ist, nicht wahr? Die großen Erfinder, die Elon Musks dieser Welt, wären auch nicht durch die linke Tür gegangen. Und ich weiß nicht, ob ich es schaffen kann, dem Rätsel auf die Schliche zu kommen, zu herauszufinden, was passiert ist, oder andere Menschen finden, indem ich tue, was die Stimme sagt. Können wir der Stimme überhaupt vertrauen? Das ist die Frage. Und was soll schon passieren, wenn wir die rechte Tür gehen? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Aber er lenkt ein. Ich finde die Gegend ja auch etwas bedrückend, aber auch interessant. Mehr oder weniger, ja, den Lim Limitierungen der Half-Life-Mod geschuldet, dass es überhaupt ein leeres Bürogebäude die Story bildet. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Na klar. Die Zeit vergeht wirklich nicht, ne? Der Sekundenzeiger geht. Aber yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Das ist richtig. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Er versucht uns zu bequatschen, nicht wahr? Das werte ich persönlich als negativ. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Ihr werdet noch sehen, wo das hinführt. Wo es letzten Endes hinführt, weiß ich auch noch nicht genau. Ich weiß nicht, ob der Erzähler unser Freund ist oder Feind. Man, man munkelt. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Erste Tür zur linken. Ach so. Ob das mit den Türen überprüfen kann, ich stecken lassen. Ich soll also hier lang gehen, um wieder auf die Spur zu kommen, ne? nach da hinten zu gelangen. Aber die Tür wird sich hinter mir schließen und... Ich weiß nicht, das sieht so dunkel und... Nicht besonders hübsch aus, dieses Lager. Es sieht doch gefährlich aus. Ich schaue mich erstmal um. Wie in einem Videospiel üblich. Okay. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Ja, es tut mir leid. <lacht> das bleibt auf. Oder auch nicht. Was ist das überhaupt für eine Firma? Was macht ihr hier? Hier soll ich wohl echt nicht hin. Spring nicht runter. 
springe ich vom Lift, während es sich bewegt. Das verursacht den Tod. Ja. Kostet 1000 oder 5000. Geht der? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. <laughs> This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Wer? Macht er uns neugierig? Dieser Raum ist verdammt dunkel. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. Yes. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, Is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Ah, nee, nee, nee. 
Ich bin ein bisschen verwirrt. Ich habe auch ein bisschen Angst, dass ich schon ja, das richtige Ende schaffe, weil ich scheine ihn ja richtig ne, zu triggern. Ich glaube, ich bin da Havers auf der Spur. Das mit dem Telefon hat ihn ganz schön dran gekriegt. Aber warum... Jetzt mache ich leider, was er sagt. Dass ich keine andere Möglichkeit mehr sehe. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Ich will den Trank kriegen. Ich äh, muss ein bisschen cleverer sein als er. Ich werde nicht tun, was er sagt. Was steht da? Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Vor allen Dingen, die Erzähler, also die, <lacht> dieses Lehrvideo hat uns gerade gesagt, wenn wir feststellen, dass unser Gegenüber kein echter Mensch ist, dann sollen wir das in Frage stellen, weil die Erzählerstimme ist das ja nicht. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again and you'll be home free in the real world. Ich weiß ja nicht. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Das ist jetzt eine neue Situation für mich. <lacht> eine neue alte Situation. Was wenn ich einfach wieder hier lang gehe? No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Das Spiel verfällt und... Ah, das wird schon merkwürdig, weil es nicht in die Erzählerweise passt. Habe ich das so verstanden? Ah, es geht nicht, ne? Das ist, weil es nicht so läuft, wie er das gerne hätte. Ah, Mann! Ich habe jetzt keine Wahl mehr. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Was bedeutet das? Bin maximal verwirrt. <lacht> I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? 
He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Nun ja. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. <laughs> behave exactly as Stanley would. <laughs> That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ey, ich dachte, ich trigger genau dasselbe wieder. Es verhält sich ein bisschen wie mit Undertale, das oftmals einfach nicht vergessen hat, was man tat. Diesmal passiert nichts weiter. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Na klar, gerne. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Ist jetzt wirklich richtig? Sind wir wieder auf der Spur, die er will? Ich denke mal, es wäre immer dasselbe passiert. I have a stupid idea, what? Das ist sehr detailreich und liebevoll gemacht. Ich weiß nur nicht, ob es relevant ist. Also in meinem alternativen Leben möchte ich tatsächlich mal ein äh, Büromensch sein. Ich möchte im Büro leben und äh, äh, mich mit meinen Angestellten herumschlagen. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hm. Das sieht natürlich sehr bossy aus hier. Hallo, hallo? Ah, ich weiß nicht, auf was für einem Pfad ich mich gerade befinde. Das ist sehr... <lacht> so sieht eine Bossetage aus. Das Bild vor allen Dingen. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Nightshark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Shark 115. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver. Right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. 
I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Sieht aus, als wären wir hier gefangen, ja? Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have <laughs> gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Was jetzt? Meta-Ebene. Wir sind Stanley. tot. Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Have you geschafft? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Das ist verwirrend Choose. und traurig zugleich. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Danny, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Wir sehen uns selbst aus einer anderen Perspektive und wie ein, eine Seele, die einen Geist verlassen hat, die einen Körper verlassen hat. Und wir sind wieder genau hier am Anfang. Aber, aber... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Das war das Ende. Ich glaube, das war ein Ende, aber wir haben weder Menschen gefunden, noch irgendetwas herausgefunden. Das war nicht das gesuchte Ende. Das war wild. Im nächsten Part schauen wir noch mehr, was hier los ist, was wir hier tun können. Was ist, wenn wir direkt die richtige Tür gehen und ja, ob es noch andere Wege gibt. Das war's aber für den ersten Part. Schaltet unbedingt das nächste Mal auch wieder ein. Ich bedanke mich für eure Aufmerksamkeit und fürs dabei gewesen sein. Und äh, ja, ja, ja. Es, muss, es gibt noch deutlich mehr Endings. So viel ist mir bekannt. Aber vielleicht war ich nicht ganz schlecht. Aber was ist überhaupt gut und schlecht? Ich kann es noch gar nicht beurteilen. Wir müssen mehr erfahren. Findet das Her Geheimnis raus mit mir zusammen. Vielleicht im nächsten Part. Nicht verpassen, Like da lassen. Bis dann und ciao!